Welcome to the Swing Trading with Cycles channel. We're going to do our update on Dixie today, the U.S. dollar index. It's April 15, 2023. If you're new to the channel, welcome. If you're a returning guest, um, welcome back. Definitely take a look at the pinned comment. Always uh, find some helpful links there to other asset classes reviewed um, and also just background information on swing highs, swing lows, how to think about cycles. We're going to review the Dixie today. As I said, this is a daily chart that we'll start with, and we always think about a cycles perspective. So we've had this very obvious swing high here on day 24. That was March 8th. Um, and that is off of this swing low here. That's how these things are always measured from swing low to swing high. So we have this swing high, swing low here on, from February 2nd and this swing high here to, on March 8th. That's a 24 day rally, which was a big change from this big downdraft, right? We had this, this long period where we just didn't couldn't pull pull together a rally of more than like three or four days. And then we have this little 24 day rally, but now we've had a pretty bit nice decline since then. This in real time looked like it might become a daily cycle low on day 35. That failed of course, right? So just if you, you can kind of see the downtrend here, you make this low, this, that, that, then you make a lower low, lower high, and now we've made another lower low. And now you, you're you wondering, is this your real daily cycle low? Or was this the daily cycle low? That's why I don't like to get too hung up on you know the, the, the quote unquote counts and focus on the price action more than anything. And especially in this case, we have a pretty big signal in, in, the, in the weekly cycle decline, right? So this is day 51, let's just mark that. It is a bullish outside daily candle. So that certainly that certainly suggests more upside. And this all triangulates. There's a separate video, again, as I said in the pinned comments, you can see separate videos about different asset classes. This is very bullish for gold and precious metals. Or excuse me, I should say short term, this is very bearish for precious metals and gold. They are moving into a daily cycle low, most likely. So it makes sense that the Dixie this is probably your daily cycle low here on day 51. But bigger picture, really important, bigger picture, the US dollar index is in a long-term downtrend. So this was your three-year cycle high back at the end of September. That was month 20 of uh, what is usually a 36-month cycle. So once you had that top on month 20, you'd expect a decline for something like 16 months. So we've been declining ever since that. You can see very clear downtrend. I mean, this is just a weekly version of what we were just looking at. And as you expect in a downtrend, you have bounces. This was a bounce. Now this bounce is being wiped out. And so you would expect that we're gonna make a lower low below that low eventually, and we're gonna get another bounce. There are always gonna be bounces, but that one is gonna get, that one would get snuffed out as well. And then eventually we're gonna get our, our uh, three-year cycle low, and we could get a more sustained uptrend that could last for a few months, something like that. Right, like if I stretch this out, if I do something like, that's gonna be tough. But yeah, you might get, you might see something like this, right? Because we wouldn't expect to get that low until basically like early next year. And so you could expect some kind of pattern like this, where again, you're gonna get these bounces and then you would expect that that bounce fails below that previous low that we've been holding. And then of course, you're gonna eventually get a pretty sustained rally and precious metals should do well that whole period is the idea. And so if we think about the specific weekly cycle that we're in here, it has a top on month on week five so far. And so this is week six, seven, eight, nine, week 10. These things are generally 20 weeks in length at least. And so we're right at the mid halfway point. This is also forming uh, what is what looks like a double bottom. And so again, short term, you do expect a rally here because we're probably getting our daily cycle low. And in fact, like you'll probably end up with a pattern, something like maybe even retest that high before a further move down. That's not a prediction by any means. These are just scenarios, but it's the, it's the kind of thing that you have to think about the multiple time frames. If we're gonna get a daily cycle rally, that means we're gonna probably rally for like at least, you know, is that your daily cycle, right? So we're gonna rally, let's say for at least 
10, five, seven, maybe 10, even 10 days. But you would expect if it's going to be a bearish rally that it wouldn't get past this last local high. It gives you a very clear line in the sand. And that's at 105 spot 883. And just thinking more bigger picture, uh, just thinking about that three year cycle decline, and there was a like we made a swing high below a swing high below this weekly candle here. So that's a level at 111. What's that low there? 111 spot 576. That's a long way up from here. But that's like until we get back above that level, until we get back above that level, you're really kind of in no man's land at best and really just kind of in lower high territory at worst. And if we look at the monthly chart, as we as we talked about, this is your your um, excuse me, this is your uh, three year cycle high on the monthly chart, month 20. And you can see the swing high created on the monthly chart goes deeper, which is to say the, the that swing high has a sort of a bull bear line, if you want to call it at 107 spot 642. So think about that. That makes sense. If we're going to break the weekly swing high, we have to break the monthly swing high first by definition, right? So the monthly swing high, we have to get through 107 spot 642 to have a ch even a chance at getting above 111. And we tr like we we like this was our attempt to get back up there. Like you can see, this is a failed move to retest that low. And there was an exchange on Twitter where I mean, in the, in real time, it looked like this was going to make a move. And I remember I posted like, until we get above 107 spot 642, that means nothing. And think about how close we were. And I think that's what the comment was. They're like, oh, well, that's just a few percentage points away. And it was like, what was that? Wow. So that's a, so another one and a half percent higher, you know, a little bit more than that would have kind of at least tested that level. And not to say that we can't go back up here and test it. But that becomes your sort of pivot point. And let's see how how far above, how far below, how below, far below that are we now? So we need a six percent rally to even test that level. And at this point, like the other important line in the sand is this cluster of highs, right? Like this is a high from January, this is a high from February, this is a high from March. What does that look like to you, right? That's a ceiling of resistance. It's a supply zone. There's just it's not like, and you, there are all kinds of hypotheses you can make about it. The point is that price has not been able to kind of get above this level for all of 2023, literally. And so what is that level? Something like 105 spot 713. We poked our head above it. We were above it for a tiny bit. And so what is that? Right. It's a false breakout, more or less, right? All of these terms kind of mean the same thing. It's more about what do they mean in the term in terms of price action. Price could not sustain itself above this level, and we had a massive rejection. Now, again, we're going to get another rally. And the other thing to keep in mind is this monthly candle opened at 102 spot 594. So we would need to get above 102 spot 594 to make the April candle uh, green. So that becomes another level that you can think about for this daily cycle rally, right? This rally that we're having on the on the daily chart, that would be a significant level for it to breach because that would turn the monthly candle green. And of course, again, from there, the next that big level is that 105 spot 713, this, you know, what's, what has been resistance for 2023 so far. So that is the update on, on Dixie. I'll quickly turn to TLT since these are so correlated. And this thing has been like just doing this meandering action. Like, let's look at the monthly chart because we can see it pretty clearly on that. Look at how these candles have just been stacked. In fact, this is a candle from December. This is our December candle. I'll just draw a line so that it's very clear. Is that clear now? <laughs> right? So literally all of the price action in 2023 has been inside the range of this really bearish looking December candle where it's like, oh, wow, this looks like it's about to fall off a cliff. Like that's what, you, like you close a month like that, you expect the next candle to follow through to the downside and make a lower low below this. That's not what it did. It didn't rock it to the moon either though. It's just, we've just been oscillating inside this range. How frustrating, just like sideways action. And so what that tells you is until we break above that or below that, 
it's kind of meaningless. I mean, you're, certainly they're going to be short-term trades, scalps. I mean, if we look at the we look at the daily chart. Just look at this snaky action. Look at that, like just like a snake. It's not not fun. We do have these gaps below, and if you think about the context of the daily cycle, right? Like this is a pretty clear daily cycle low here on day forty-three, and so where does that put us then? So. This so far is our daily cycle high. That still holds. That was day 19, and this is day 30. So the bearish case is that we're still just kind of meandering into a daily cycle low at this point, and we have the, this gap below and this really big gap, below, like way below, right? Because we made this high on day seven, and since that day seven high, we've just meandered because we didn't quite make a higher high. This is a... You know, you can even, just to be clear, draw a little ray just to illustrate, like, clearly you can see that slope lower. It's a, and, and I mean, you can just kind of look at the actual level. The point is, this is bearish, right? Price tried to get back above it and said, nope. Obviously, we could see, we, this could become a lower, a uh, higher low if we get a, an up candle on Monday. But right now, there isn't really an edge here, again, that's why we started with that higher time frame candle. I mean, this is just, this is ugly chop that I personally have been avoiding. Um, but important to kind of see which way this thing breaks. Um, so that's the update on Dixie. And we also looked at TLT. Thanks for watching.